So uh, I'm finishing up uh, the software installation of this laptop here. Actually, I haven't installed the software for the pick-and-place machine, which is on this uh, USB stick here. But uh, the issue was that um, the laptop needed uh, all kinds of updates. And you you may have seen that this is a Windows 7 laptop. Uh, that's on purpose because um, I read in uh, in the forum that uh, this pick-and-place machine um, has some issues with the network connection here, actually, uh, which is used for uh, operating the the motors um, when you're using Windows 10. So uh, people said, if you can, just stick at Windows 7. And of course we know that, um, everyone knows, I think, um, Windows 7 is, is being discontinued very soon, so there won't be any updates from then. But I think if this laptop is just running, and I will disconnect the, the internet connection um, anyway, because I don't trust the software on this USB stick, uh, because I've seen from, from several other people, uh, I've read uh, actually, um, that uh, some virus um, applications um, said there was virus, a virus in the, in the software that came with the pick and place machine. So we'll see about that. Uh, I installed a VIST 3. Um, but anyway, um, I just want to get this machine up and running. But it's taken so long. It's just a Core 2 Duo system, an old laptop with a 2 gigabyte of memory. And it already, <laughs> if you can, can call it already, installed the Windows uh, 7 Service Pack 1. Uh, but I think it has uh, been doing updates for five hours or something, which is uh, which is common for an old machine with Windows 7 with all the updates if you haven't installed any. So anyone, uh, anyway, sorry, um, I think it should be able to get the latest updates now. Uh, I hope it will finish soon. And actually I, I shouldn't bother because I'm only going to use this machine for running the pick and place machine software. Um, so I sh could just stop um, looking for updates and installing them and install the dang software, you know. Um, but it won't take it won't take long. I actually powered up the machine once. Uh, the manual says, which is here by the way, uh, the manual says that you ha you have to try if the motors run uh, smoothly, and that's that's exactly what's happening here. So that's not an issue. Um, I think they they, they asked that because uh, even the nozzles you can pull down the nozzles here. Um, I think they asked that because there are some tie wraps when the machine arrives. Um, so you need to make sure that the tie wraps are not um, installed anymore. So uh, I can show you, I just put, pushed the stop button because it uh, actually um, powers down the complete machine. So I just switch the, the mains on off switch. And if I do this, you can see the machine is running. So I'm not blinking here. Uh, but for now, uh, I want. I have to wait because I have to wait to, uh, that, uh, until the software is installed. And I think what you're hearing are the vacuum pumps for the nozzles, um, so that won't be any problem. And as you can see, I discontinue the complete machine because I don't trust the software in any way. I've seen some USB sticks in the past com coming with um, all kinds of malware, and I don't want to risk anything on my business network. So uh, at this moment, I'm waiting for. Um, Maybe some more updates to install, I don't know. Uh, and if that's uh, done, then uh, the machine will be powered on for the first time uh, and controlled by the software. Um, I can't wait for that, uh, but of course I have to do a lot more. I have to uh, order all the reels that I need. Uh, I have to configure the machine where all the reels are. You, you do that, I think, just by configuration files, um, which you can save in the software and, uh, and modify in the software, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's that hard. Uh, it's just a, it just will take some time. But I think uh, we'll g we're getting there. Um, under uh, sorry, uh, yeah, under this is the the stencil. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see here. The stencil for the Pro One at the face. Got a couple of boards in here just just for fun, not not for actual production at, the, at this moment. And as far as I know, if I just want to do one board at a time, I just have to position the the head, the, the camera exactly at at the point. Uh, where the, the where the hole is there, um, which is the the orientation center, uh, and if that's done, and I uh, put in the file with all the cases of the parts, and I uh, reference the parts to all the reels and that sort of thing, then uh, should just be able to uh, run the assembly. Uh, so that's what I want to do. Uh, we'll take some days, weeks, I think a week or two maybe. 
uh, but I can't wait, this is important, I need to do this, and if I don't do this, I will just keep on working 80 hours a week for, forever after. <laughs> and I don't want that. Uh, anyway, it's a cool machine, uh, 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 there's some dust here, it's, I will clean it up, of course. There's a, a bottom camera which will um, check if the uh, chips, many of the chips are aligned properly, which you can put, put in the tray here. And there's a, another camera here, oh, it's in the back here. I don't, don't know if you can see it, no, I think the other side is easier, there, there it is. You can see uh, there's a camera there, it's hard to see, but anyway, there's a camera with uh, LEDs as well, which is uh, which sees the top, which actually can um, see the uh, home points of the boards, the base locations, and the uh, fiducial marks if you use them on your printed circuit boards. Maybe it can use the, the, the screw hole, you know, for, as a fiducial mark, I'm not sure. Uh, there are two nuzzles, uh, and already uh, so, uh, read in the manual which nuzzles I should use because I have a couple, and I will use nuzzles for 0403, oh, no, sorry, 40805, 0603 parts. That's one nuzzle, and for the chips, which is the other nuzzle. So I, I just need two, and that should be enough for, well, 90% of the things I have to assemble. If, if there are parts that I cannot assemble by the machine, I think, for example, that the SD card I will put, just put on by hand. There's no reason doing that with the machine, I guess. Maybe I will even do that before the machine starts with the next board, you know. Just just put on the, the solder with the solder mask, so the, the solder paste, actually. Um, and then put on the, the SD card. I don't think that's a problem. And, of course, when everything is soldered with the machine, I have to uh, solder the through hole parts, like the joystick connectors, the dip switch, and the, the edge connector, of course. Um, but I think uh, um, I think it's, it's really important that this machine is going to be used very soon because it's been uh, being here for three months now, maybe more even I don't know. Um, so it's really important that it's, it's going to run. And I have been saying to myself, uh, um, I will work on it when I catch up with the backlog. But the backlog is just increasing, and it's because there's uh, more and more interest in uh, ZX Spectrum uh, add-ons. Uh, even of course because the uh, I'm, I'm I'm making uh, I'm promoting the Spectronet interface and some other new uh, products which are coming. Um, so uh, it, it's really really uh, because of myself that uh, that all the interest is growing, and not only because of myself. I don't want to say that it's it's uh, it's it's only myself because the interest in in retro computing is is growing uh, a lot throughout the last couple of years and. Uh, I'm just one of the guys that tries to uh, create as much new ha hardware as I can, um, um, but within the limits of my uh, um, um, available time uh, minus the sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep for, from time to time. And my uh, my uh, new uh, Mi Band uh, already uh, also tells me how much I slept throughout the last days, and it's just over six hours. So it's enough, if you can call it that. <laughs> Uh, but um, maybe I should do a bit more. But it's also not because of the, not only because of the work. It's it's mainly a DA fever at the moment. It's not that bad at the moment, but actually I don't know why. There should be a lot of birch pollen in the air, but I don't, I'm not coping with them a lot. Uh, just a bit. So uh, okay, I will live. This is totally off topic, of course. But anyway, um, please follow my um, my channel on YouTube, and I will post updates as soon as I can. So thank you for watching again, and see you next time. Bye.